record. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> it is day 40. 40 of the tool show. 040. 040. 130. 150. <laughs> we'll explain that in a minute. Um, today is Sunday fun day. And uh, today is the day of rest and brunch. And uh, we're gonna, we needed a rest after last night. We did. Big night. Do you want to explain what happened? Up till 2 a.m. After a wild watch that. It went, it started, the turning point was 10 o'clock, wasn't it? Almost to the to Steady, the yeah, steady sailing up until we passed the helm on to myself. <laughs> um, squalls were co closing in on us in all angles, lightning flashing, just like hectic. Hail, hectic crazy. Hectic winds. And then? <laughs> and then, then the squall hit, and then hail was like pounding my head from the back. <laughs> Couldn't hear anything. Um, like ice bullets. And then the captain comes up and he's yelling, he's yelling at me, one three zero and I said, Aye aye captain <laughs> I one three did zero it. What's that? Did you say aye aye captain? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say aye aye captain yet. And then by the time I'm swinging around to do that he yells back one five zero and I called out to Paul to help me because he was still standing beside me. Before he could even grab hold of the helm, boom just swung and boom! Collapsed, crashed, right in Split front of Split in us. two, nearly knocked us out over the heads, didn't it? Not really, but could have. It was very close. It fell down on Alana and the first thing we saw was just the boom against lying against Alana. Smashed into light splinters. So then we, um, she crawled back into the, the Wheel. wheelhouse. Meanwhile, Siobhan and I shitting ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a rest of I'm trying to unclip from the, the rails and they're like, get on the port side and yeah. there's a lot of yelling and like stressful. Screaming and yeah. And then we were sent down to go get Mike and Yaz and everybody and then they spent a good hour trying to to uh, tie the tie the boom down so it didn't and haul in the, uh, the spanker, which was still flopping around. Yeah, that was scary because it was still making a lot of noise. There's a lot of ropes like, and jangling going on. And we were well aware that anything could fall from the sky and like knock us out. So that flying around didn't do much help for the atmosphere. It was a, a horrible night. Um, but the the storms were amazing to see. Yeah. I mean, the first couple of hours was awesome just to like watch them on the horizon until they one crept up our backside and uh, hit us. Crept up rather fast. Um, but we spent the next couple of hours wearing ship and got drenched up knee deep in seawater on the well deck and so we didn't get to sleep until we gone two o'clock because we were that buzzed on um, adrenaline and fear and survival kicked in you know everyone was <laughs> can we go to bed yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was survival mode. <laughs> we got to bed and we're like, to be fair, it was a lot of clanking and banging and just lying in bed hoping to God that the ship was going to stay afloat. Mm. Um, so we're out with the, without a spanker now, which means we will not be sailing into the Azores. We're going to be limping, apparently, to, oh. according to some of the crew members. So we're not going to look very pretty. Yet. That's no, we know that much. No, but she's um, she's quite spacious now. It's, uh, There's a lot of room up there in the poop deck. <laughs> Just the view is like, wow, I can see so much more now. It's like, fucking great big, oh, sorry, fucking great big spanker. You might know, it's, it's like, it's an advancement kind of, you know, moving forward. Yeah. It needed to happen. We had a debrief last night. Then things got wrong. <laughs> For Beck. Beck had a... Got the blame. <laughs> Unnecessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know uh, what went wrong there. <laughs> we just all fucking talked back. <laughs> no, um, the captain kind of worded it wrong by saying that he'd. Um, the helmsman was the helmsman distracted and was not focusing. Which is. In which Beck then continued to ball in. Hyperventilate. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody hyperventilate so much. <laughs> 
but yeah it's all said and done it's just a piece of wood so it's done it's, it's uh but the good thing is we're making good speed right now on seven uh seven or eight knots now and if we keep up to six and it's a six and a half average average over the yeah then we'll be there in three days wednesday afternoon hopefully so that means that we technically are the sunday so we'll have three night watches mm, 12 to four on 12 to four hours now so we've had brunch today we've uh, spent some good time up in the sun had a fried egg on toast some hash brown baked beans i didn't throw any any of my beans over paul today so it's a good day well now it's a good day today's a good day and we've got roast dinner later on so it's gonna be nice mm. uh so yeah eventful eventful day very eventful I'm sure something else happened, but um, maybe that was it. We had a really good day in the sun. We were all doing maintenance and stuff, and we always, uh, we always, uh, I don't know what we were saying. We always walk. <laughs> I don't know. We always have fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I wanted to finish my sentence. Mm. But yeah, so we will hopefully speak to you before we get to the Azores. Um, hopefully not with another story of another sail breaking. Yes, because. Um, that's Apparently, not it's not a happy situation. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've now got to go without a spanker all the way to the UK, which means. Um, but we'll it was bound to break. Apparently, they were saying yes, they true. were waiting for that to break. Um, no. Did them a favour. They were waiting. It was old. Just get rid. <laughs> I was the older than we knew. But we shall. Uh, we'll speak to you soon. Day forty of the TS Pelican of London tour ship trip. Yo, yo. Peace out. Wait, hang on. Over and out. Over and out. <laughs>